Hey guys, my fellow adventurers, welcome back to another Watcher of Realms video. In today's video, I would like to talk to you guys about the tide. Let me just reduce game volume a little. All right. So, did you guys know that in tide, if you go for the challenge, if it says hard or impossible, like this one, it is medium right now. But if it goes orange or red, if it's red, then it's impossible for you to beat the stage. That's just a numbers check. If it is orange, I'm not very sure. But if it's medium or easy, you're just cruise through the stage. Like I can do, I can have a, like if it's red, danger, you have no chance. Even you've, if you have the best strategy, you cannot beat the stage. But if I go and do a certain cancel strategy, go into defenders, take three defenders in, and maybe take this guy, because he has good block. Go into fighters. Humanity never falls. Ready or not, this is war. Okay, let's have this guy here. So they can attack from behind. Let's get a healer. Have a Dolores for buffs. What the hell? A vortex for shield, and then just put in damage dealers. Take her in just for a slow. Let's go for marksman. So, this is a strategic setup with my units. I should have put Hatsu in. Let's just remove him. And have her. So, this is what I, you, you would probably do if you do, if you go by strategy, right? So, you go and you start the fight, and already you get the notification insufficient battle power. You start the stage. Use the defense up, and they are shredding through my units. Like they're the the. They just kill everything. Look, if you see that, no chance. No. No chance. And now let's check the difference. If you just go for power. Don't care about strategy, just go for power. What we are going to take to take in consideration is the bonus. Uh, let's go back. If we go to talents, we got these bonuses. 
where whenever we have no it's not this one it's yeah these bonuses you need three mages to get these bonuses three defenders to get these bonuses and three marksmen to get these bonuses so we are going for these bonuses but other than that we will just put in the strongest units that we have and it doesn't matter what kind of units they are so we go in defenders him have her and him three defenders we don't need more i will take fighters just because well let's not take fighters because we don't need fighters right now we just go to mages one here one here him he's terrible for multi-target attacks but i'm taking him because of the highest power I go to Marksman, I take my Nyx, take my Hatsu, and I take her. Alright, and now I go just into all units and put in the strongest ones that I have. While I might fail, you will see how much better this run is going to be. And then just put him in. Alright. So I just put the units, my strongest units in terms of battle power. I don't care about strategy. I'm not using a Dolores for buff. Nothing. Just take the strongest units. It doesn't matter if they are single target attack or multi target attack and start. Confirm assault. And I'm, I might fail here because it's still. But I just want to show you guys how big the difference is. And if you see, my units are surviving a lot more. <clears throat> all of a sudden my defenders who got shred last run all of a sudden they can withstand so tide is just it's just a BP check. Look at this. That was easy. That was easy. Tide does not need any strategy. Just go for the bonuses. Take your three defenders, your three marksmen, and your three mages. And then just put in whoever is strongest. Of course, it's, it's optimal if you have enough healers. I do not know if healers have a three three unit bonus as well. Maybe they do. Healers multiplier. But I don't see it right now. It's just these three. Bloodlust. The Will of Unity. And the Mana Enhancement. Yeah, it's just these three. So just, just think about taking the three marksmen, three defenders, and the three mages, and then just put in whoever is strongest. It would be optimal if you have like two healers just to heal your units, but the tide is so much easier if you don't think about strategy and just put in whoever is strongest.
just put in your strongest units and you will you will realize and see how much easier it is to progress if you're in the, the lower levels like 1 to 80 1 to 90 maybe it's not a problem you can just rush through that fairly easy but once you reach i'd say the first stage i really struggled was 99 and then i was stuck for two three days on every stage until i just started to ignore strategy started to ignore all the all of that and just put in your strongest units and all of a sudden you will progress all right that is it my tight video my tight guide if you want to call it uh thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a great day and i hope to see you in the next video bye guys